What's going on, train people? I'm Ben Wayne, back with another video. Today we have an extremely special unboxing. I've been waiting for this set forever. Let's go ahead and get to it. Oh, this is heavy. This is the new Rocket Booster set from Lionel, right? Previously seen on MTH, this is MTH tooling, but Lionel offered it in their 2022 Volume 1 catalog. Now, as a rocket scientist myself, this hit home. The second I saw it in the catalog, I knew this was coming home. There were no ifs, ands, or buts about it. No discussions with the wife. I told her this is coming home, right? <laughs> as soon as I got out of college, working at NASA was my first job, so I just had to have this. Now, first of all, these sets, that Lionel offers are very special. Look at the special box here. This isn't the typical orange and blue box from Lionel. And that makes sets like these kind of sought after, right? Look at how gorgeous this box is and it just gives you a huge wow factor the second that you see it. So when I first saw this, I was just amazed. I was excited, I was pumped. I was amped to get this open. As a matter of fact, I already opened a slight portion of it. I got the engine out. I did that for my live show called Train Talk Tuesday on Instagram. Check me out there Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Every Tuesday we do Train Talk Tuesday to discuss train stuff. But anyways, the Lionel Rocket Booster set is finally here. This is one of Lionel's largest sets they've ever offered, right? So it comes with quite a bit. You're getting, I think, roughly six idler cars and then five flat cars carrying the Rocket Booster sections. Now the rocket booster sections can be taken out of the flat cars and then put together to assemble the rocket booster, right? So that's pretty amazing. And it also comes with a car for the staff. So a 21 inch passenger car goes on the end of the set for the staff. This is just absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So first things first, let me take off this huge section here. Hopefully I have enough space. Oh, this box is huge. I want you guys to get an idea <laughs> of the size of this thing, the magnitude of it. Let's put that off to the side. All right. So as you can see, you have your flat cars with the rocket booster sections. I've already opened one, but I will open these for the unboxing video. This is a huge set. I really have to be strategic with how I want to do this to make sure you guys see everything. Here we have the 21 inch car for the staff that goes along with the train. Of course, all LED lighting. We'll get to that a little bit later. And then, looks like we have the six idler cars. This is a huge set, guys. Huge set. So it does come with an expansion pack. If you want to go ham, you want to go hard in the paint and get a really crazy long train, you do have that option. I'm still debating if I want that. All right. So the box is finally empty. And of course you got some instructions in here as well. I definitely recommend you guys reading these to make sure you don't damage this at all. All right, so where should we start? <laughs> um, first, let me open one of the idler cars, the standard O uh, box cars. These serve as weight distribution for the actual train in real life. So let's go ahead and open one of these. All right, so what we have here is the Union Pacific clearance cars. So it includes clearance bars to make sure nothing hits those flat cars with those, you know, sensitive rocket booster sections, right? The rocket booster train would be going from the manufacturing facility in Utah all the way to Kennedy Space Center in Florida. So it was quite the journey. All right. Let's see. All right, so what you have is a standard O Union Pacific boxcar. And then 
packaged separately, you do have your clearance brackets, right? These can go easily onto the sides of the car to make sure you have proper clearance. Now, just like in the real world, to make sure you have proper clearance, <laughs> you better make sure you have proper clearance for this on your layout as well. You don't want these hitting anything and damaging your train. So installation seems fairly straightforward. I'm doing it for the first time here. Yeah, that's fairly straightforward. That's fairly easy. Um, looks like I can install all three of these. I'll go ahead and do that. I'm so excited. So I'm kind of forcing myself to try and slow down a little bit. Let me try it on this back one here. And I'll just unbox this one for you. Um, I don't want to unbox all of the idler cars. What you see is kind of what you get with this. Um, the good stuff is in those flat cars, right? And then we have one for the middle section here. So we're just going to install that. Goes in nice and snug. I'll probably give you guys a close up shot of this so you can see it, but there you go. I have all three barriers, right? Going across there, all the clearance bars install fairly easy. I just did that for the first time right on here. So it doesn't take but two minutes. That's pretty cool. All right, let me get you guys a close up shot of that. And then we're going to move on to the flat cars. All right, let's get to the good stuff. All right. So you have your five, cars here the five flat cars that carry the rocket booster sections let's go ahead and get into that first impressions the detail looks good right out the box these look nice let's go ahead and pull these out slides right out easy And we can just roll it right out of the bag. All right. First impression, the details definitely look nice on these. Now, these do have eight axles, kind of like a swivel system back here to negotiate your curves. Um, in the real world, it's to help distribute this heavy weight load of something, you know, that is absolutely enormous. All right, so you notice we do have this cover on it. Looks nice. Says do not hump. Has good markings. Everything is legible. You do have doors on either side. The doors do not open, but there's a nice chain there as well. Now, to get to the booster section, you simply just lift. It simply lifts up, and then you have your booster section there, right? And it looks nice. You know, if you want to see the booster sections, you can run the train on your layout with the covers off. Not prototypical, but it's your layout. Do what you want. So I like the size of this. Now, I will note, guys, I'm going to tell you this up front. Make sure you read all the instructions. You know, when MTH released these, there was a rumor going around that you couldn't put the rocket together. It seemed like it was glued in place. That is completely false. Now, the way it's secured, you can't just pull it out. There are screws located on the bottom of each flat car. You unscrew each section and you're able to remove it. So I'll do a demonstration of that um, after we get the rest unboxed. All right, so let me move on to the other cars. I'll slide this back on gently. It just sits on top there. We'll move this to the side. Let's get to another car. Go ahead and get straight to it. Make sure I keep everything organized with these. So many of them. Another beautiful car. And just like we did the first one, we'll roll it right out the box there. I'm going to go ahead and put this back because 
all this packaging could take over my space extremely fast. There we go. We'll deal with that later. All right, let's see what section we got underneath here. Again, you just gently lift. They're hinged, right? They are hinged so you can expand them. All right, and you have another section of the booster, right? These are nice, they are large, they are detailed. I really like the way these look. I'll get you guys a couple close up shots of these as well. Still trying to determine if I want that expansion pack as I do this live. <laughs> I know. I know I have a problem. Slide this out. All right, we have another section here and I'm gonna put the packaging back so I don't get overwhelmed. And all this fits nicely into the initial box that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Pull the cover off. Let's see what we have under this one. Let me pull it off nice and slowly. All right. This looks like maybe one of the bottom stages. So you can see there's differences in each one. And again, the screws on the bottom of the flat car, which I'll show you, will allow you to remove each section. It's not something that you can try and force out. You will break your set and you'll be very upset at yourself. All right, so I think the next one is going to be the nose cone and the bottom thruster, the thruster that goes on the bottom of the booster because I opened the fifth one during my live Instagram show. It's getting crowded here. Yep, exactly. So you got the booster on the bottom that goes on the bottom of the rocket and then you got the nose cone here. This one might be a little bit more difficult to take off. And then of course you have the center portion there. So the nose, the nose cone and the booster portion. That is pretty neat. And this would look cool rolling on the layout without the cover. I'm not gonna lie to y'all about that. That would look cool. All right. Um, I guess before we take all of these apart, let me get my packaging in order. Um, let's open that 21 inch car real quickly just to get a look at that. Can't forget about the staff. All right, so we got a 21 inch passenger car here. You guys know the deal with these. These are nice in scale. Lionel builds them well. Actually, it looks like a sleeper car, which would make sense. Let's see, Let's get this unboxed. All right, let me get a razor. Cut through the tape. this out the way no problem slide this out and the details are what you would expect from Lionel nice and scale it has a nice weight to it you got rubber diaphragms on either side this looks good and of course LED lighting right this is cool it's not the star of the show but it definitely is cool doors open on either side that is nice, a nice weight to it. I love that. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get to the good part. All right, so guys, in my excitement, I almost forgot to show you the ES44 that you get with this set. So yes, this set essentially comes with everything you need. This is just incredible. You guys know I love ES44s. So it's always good to have some additional modern power to add to your roster. Now, like I said, these sets in real life come all the way from Utah to Florida. So you can pull this with any type of power that you want and it'll still be prototypical. You could use Florida East Coast, you know, Norfolk Southern, whatever you have in your roster. But it also comes with a Union Pacific ES44. This is the Union Pacific Rocket Booster set. So this is the entire set here I have laid out. So the ES44, the 21 inch sleeper. I have the six idler cars, including the clearance car, the car with the clearance brackets, and then the five flat cars with the rocket booster sections. Let's get to it. All right, guys, it is time to remove these rocket booster loads from the flat cars. Let's go ahead and get to it. So again, we're going to do it step by step, or maybe I'll just show you a few, the ones that you need to see, and then we'll assemble the rocket. Then I'll reinstall everything and get it on the layout. Okay, so like I said at the beginning of the video, you simply raise this section up. It is hinged. It comes off nice and easy. So you can see there it is hinged. It does have, everything's completely legible and you can see the chain there, right? Remove that. Now again, when it comes to these sections on the flat cars, you do not wanna try and pull them. You will break the set. So as you can see, underneath hopefully the camera zooms in we have some screws there that need to be removed in order to remove each section from every car all right so let's do it for this one make sure you have a plastic bag handy to put the screws in because you will lose these small black screws and then you're going to be upset and i'm going to be here to tell you i told you so all right you don't want to lose anything that comes with this set. So we'll go ahead and remove this one here. And that's going to take care of that bracket there. And then we'll remove the screws in the back. Hopefully the camera's capturing that. Pull that out and I'm going to drop these in a plastic bag as soon as I'm done with this last one here. This one's on kind of tight. All right. I'm immediately placing these into a plastic bag because I have the worst luck when it comes to stuff like this. I'm going to go ahead and circumvent that, place it in the back. All right. So now this should be able to come off easily. There we go. That's one side. And I can slide this off. And I can remove this one off here. There we go. Right? There is one section to my rocket. That is pretty sweet. Now it is plastic, but it's pretty sturdy. It's pretty firm, right? It's not one of those cheap pieces of plastic that you'll break just by looking at it. Let's go ahead and get to the other pieces. I will place this one to the side. I want to keep everything in order here. All right, so that's that car. Let's go to the next one just like I did before. Flip the car over and I'm gonna unscrew the screws here. And I'm gonna put the screws in the same plastic bag. Looks like some of them are different lengths, so. All 
I'll probably put it in the cover so that way I know what goes with what. So I'm going to drop this underneath the cover here, just like I did for the previous car. Pull this section out, pull this side out. That gives me this one. This one's in a little firm, just want to be gentle with it. It wants to come out. come out right there we go all right it's in there pretty firm we'll place this back here all right and then we're done with that car I'm gonna go ahead and do the other cars so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do this step by step. All right, so we've painstakingly unscrewed every rocket booster section from all these cars. Now it does take a little bit of time, but it's the rocket booster set. You have to put it together at least once. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, so I'll start with the thrust portion or the, the nozzle. And what we're gonna do is put that into here. That's gonna be our first section. This is exciting, all right? This is exciting. Okay, then we have, I think we have three stages here. So let me connect these. All right, so it has a little sleeve in here. We're going to doesn't have to be just want to make sure I'm connecting the right thing there we go and then we have one more that we want to connect And of course, we want to put this section on here. All right, this is bigger than I thought. <laughs> this is bigger than I thought. Whoops. Let me put this section in here. This is bigger than I thought. This might be bigger than my K-Line one. All right, and then we're gonna drop this in here. And then it's not complete without the tip. We'll just slide that in. Slide that into there. There we go. And there's the rocket booster. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> it's huge and it's extremely rewarding after taking everything apart um, and, and just putting it together like that. Obviously, it's not the fastest process, but I just want to prove that it can be done because a lot of folks are saying that it comes glued in.
So that was an overview of Lionel's new Rocket Booster set. I think it's absolutely incredible and an absolute must for any serious collector. The values on these sets are going to skyrocket in a few months. These things are going to be scarce or they're going to be on eBay for like twice the price. Definitely a premium. So let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, I'm Ben Wayne, the Train Collector's Train Collector. Out.